Fata stock gosun tri so we're looking at the readings for tomorrow Sunday the 18th of February the first Sunday of Lent it, if it wasn't Sunday it, we would be observing the remembrance of Saint Colman of Lis- Lindisfarne who was a native of Connacht a man of the west coast educated in Iona eventually goes on to become the abbot of Lindisfarne and will speak on behalf of the Celtic church at the Synod of Whitby. I like this feast because my brother Coleman, a man of the west of Ireland, became ordained and got a mercy in his soul. He went across to England and the first place he went as a parish was to the parish of Whitby, where St. Coleman had spoken on behalf of the Celtic Church. And the first reading tomorrow is taken from the book of Genesis and it's the story of Noah saving his sons by the wood of the ark of the salvation, the the ship he built, and by the waters. And uh, St. Peter sees this and was used in the early church as a teaching about baptism, that the, the wood of Christ's cross was like the ark, and we take refuge in the cross of Jesus Christ, and through the waters of baptism we are delivered from sin and brought to life with God. The psalm tomorrow, Psalm 25, Lord, make me know your ways. Remember your mercy, Lord, and teach me your paths. You see, for Noah, there's a new covenant created. For us, there's a new covenant. The covenant is like a marriage. And so we say to God, remember your mercy, Lord. Remember your promise to us in marriage that you would forgive us. And of course, the Lord does. Every covenant is like a marriage. There's a relationship between a group of people and another group of people are two individuals and in this case between God and us. Peter's first letter tomorrow, Christ himself, the innocent though he was, died once for sins, died for the guilty to lead us to God. Again, this is an, we are called, and Peter uses this example, to salvation through baptism. And then Mark chapter 1, Christ is driven out into the wilderness by the Spirit. The Spirit drives him out and he's there for 40 days. And there's a beautiful image of God bringing unity. He's there with the wild beasts in unity like in paradise. This is a new creation and the angels look after him. And in this new creation, there's a unity between material things and spiritual things. And John is arrested. Jesus goes into Galilee and there he proclaims the time has come. And the kingdom of God or the reign of God is a better translation. The reign of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. Be like St. Coleman. We like all of the saints. And there's a lovely reflection from St. Thomas More, uh, the martyr in England, where he talks about believing into God. Credo in unum deum. We believe into God to live in unity with God. We thought such as these, let's go to our beds and let's pray. We shall indeed awaken in the morning with the praise of God on our hearts and on our lips. Agus gamano dia elokok Ahur Mark of the Spirit Nave. Amen. Slongerful. Bye for now.